So the idea of the sweat patch is to collect the sweat that's coming up through the skin. The, the patch then is um, analysed to find out what the sodium concentration in, in that athlete's sweat is. And we all have different sodium concentrations in our sweat. And it's a number that's unique to us and it's unlikely to change, meaning it's a number that we're given. Juicy. Yeah, very juicy. There's going to be some athletes who will naturally perform better in hot, humid conditions. And that's purely due to having a low sweat rate and a low sodium concentration in their sweat. Interestingly, someone with a high sweat rate and someone with a high sodium concentration in their sweat most often will do very well in cold conditions. But there's a whole range of different um, variables. You can have a low sweat rate but a high sodium concentration. You can have a high sweat rate and a low sodium concentration. Um, it could be high and high, low and low. There's all these different variables that um, is unique to the individual. With this Tassie ride in mind, uh, it might be five degrees at the start. So your need for fluid won't be as much as it, it will be later on in the day. And this is why you need to separate your calories from your hydration. That's sports nutrition right there is understanding how much you're losing, and then bridging the gap between losses and your stomach's tolerance. And the better conditioned and the fitter you are, the better you can tolerate that deficiency. The reason I wrote the book was I wanted to help athletes eliminate muscle cramping, solve stomach issues, because that's what I've learned over the last 20 years working with different athletes. And having being able to solve muscle cramping, eliminate stomach issues. Uh, it came a time where I just have just gotten too busy to work one-on-one -on -one with athletes. So to provide that information in a book and just to sort of change the way athletes think about their sports nutrition. Everyone is so different and they have different needs. This book is to identify the fact that you do have a, a unique physiological makeup and you are different. You know, it's akin to everyone riding the same size bike. You know, we all have different sized bikes and we all have different setups for our own physiological makeup. Yeah, when it comes to sports nutrition, we generally go for a, a one size fits all solution. So having these numbers just allows you to address your own physiological uniqueness.